I'm playing TNT and we're up to map 29 River Sticks. Yeah, we're up to map 29 River Sticks. And I do remember quite a bit about this map because I did actually play it as a kid somewhat. Um, I think I did actually quite like it back then. Even though it does start with like caves as you can see over here, uh, which I don't have any ammo, so now I do. Oh, and you took out the Lost Soul. Thank you, Cacodemon. We start with a friendly Cacodemon. But yeah, I remember the very first time playing this map as a kid, starting in this outside area, I was like, okay, I'm down with this. And then saw all the caves, I was like, oh no, not again. But then I played it one more time and like, or oh, I think maybe I used IDDT and saw that the caves aren't the entire map. So I kept playing it and actually I quite like all the marble hell temple stuff that comes later. I've just had a thought. I don't remember where the secrets are in this map, so I'm just gonna, okay. Check that because that seems like a very TNT style secret. There's only three and I think this is a pretty long map, so hopefully they're all just nice and easy to find. Uh, and I got... Rem reminded or sort of tipped off in the comments by someone so thank you that this map is pretty light on for ammo so I'm gonna have to try and you know be thrifty and not use too much ammo although you know lost souls trying not to use ammo when there's lost souls about is tough okay infighting this passage does go to the right so I want to be careful because I have to kill you I see a box of shells over there so let's just make a run for it and what is behind me? A pinky. Go away, pinky. I hear that. Could we? Could I be given a berserker, a chainsaw, or something? Oh, it's a dead end. They just had the pinky. All right. So these caves—they're actually pretty cool, really. Very hellish. As I've said in other maps, I think the hell aesthetic in TNT did actually end up being pretty influential to other people's hell maps, uh, especially to Eric Arm and Scythe, for example. And I see from the Doom Wiki that this map was made by Jimmy Sieben uh, because I go to Doom Wiki before starting these videos to um, make sure I'm getting the map title correct. And Jimmy Sieben did Stronghold, is the previous map he did in TNT, and that's like arguably one of the best. So I'm not surprised that I remember this map well. Ooh, infight? Between some of you somehow? Oh yeah, it's this bit, the big outside area with the cool looking temple thing, and I think the revenants can come, that means. Uh, but I remember this from getting the clip for the um, ACDC announcement video I did, however many weeks ago now. There we go, there's that infight that I was waiting for. Ooh, thank you. And, okay. Okay, let's just charge out here because I think I know what's out here. Yep, revenants, I guess. I need to just go and try and shake his homing missiles, and then we take you on. Because the Cacodemon and the Revenant over there are fighting anyway. Should be trying to keep an eye out. Did the Cacodemon win? Hell yeah. It's pretty... Uh, actually, I can't remember how rare it is. I think it's somewhat rare the Cacodemons win against Revenants because Revenants just have such high DPS. Alright, I don't want you to. I'll keep you for later. So, actually, let's just hop out for a sec because... I really quite like this. I think this uh, entrance to the Marble Hell Temple is pretty well done. It looks cool. Pretty cool architecture for such an old map. And it's sort of very, you know, interesting map flow and cool map design to start in the red hellish caves and then have you come to this and sort of invite you in past the columns like, ooh, okay, here we go. Now this is the map, the part of the map that I actually enjoy. I remember actually liking, well not this little bit here, but there are some like long corridors here, thank you. Oh, a, a secret. Jeez, what a hidden secret. Alright, but I'll take it, it means I've got one of the three. And then, oh yeah, these are the corridors I mean, so with the lava and the stone. There's like turreted revenants all through them and so on. That was really influential, I think. I think I've seen that happen in a lot of other maps. I see you misaligned texture, just let me look to my left first. Misaligned texture here, I wonder if that's a mistake or if it's actually the next secret. Yeah, yeah, and this bit, this is like a puzzle if I remember correctly, like once you jump down here, it can be kind of hard to figure out how to get from platform to platform and how to get back. 
So let's just open up here. Okay, it is a door. And... It is a secret, okay. Well, two of the three secrets, and is there any... Okay, the other secret is right there. So, I just... Oh! That was a fortuitous time to close the map. And I guess to open it, because it gave time for these guys to show up. Um, and how are we looking for kills? Yeah, not that many. There's still quite a lot for this map to go. So the next secret is like... Oh wait, it's back out in the... Oh, good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. It's... Here. Oh wait. Well... Okay. I probably won't be able to get to that for a while, I guess. No need to cheat yet. Let's play the map properly first. Um, saving ammo as I go. Because, oh man, every time I come back here, there's just a whole bunch more enemies. I guess this is good. If it takes me a lot of shells to dispatch these guys, then I can go get that other box. Maybe I should anyway, because who knows when I'll next be back in the temple. Where are you, damn it? Should I waste three whole shells? You know what? Against what I've been recommended and against my maybe more wise judgment, I will. Just because I don't know if we're coming back to that temple anytime soon. Like I say, I think once you're in here, I don't know if it's damaging actually. Oh, okay, it's not. <laughs> Fortunately, my clumsiness meant that. Yeah, look. Oh, it does just lower. Oh, okay. Uh, well, then I shouldn't have wasted those shells. Okay, here are these turreted revenants I'm talking about. I actually quite like the design of this area too, with like the non centered cross beams across the top. It looks cool. This whole marble temple aesthetic throughout this map is pretty cool, like I say. it I think it's pretty influential. I think I remember playing maps in like Bourgeois and Occupoc even I think uses this aesthetic for certain bits. I swear I've seen it used in a variety of places. This lava hell temple, but sort of styled very similar to this in with these like stone walkways. It's used a lot. Alright, let's just keep going down here. Um, oh, should I even be using ammo on these, like, turret enemies that can't really do anything to me? I'll commit to killing this guy, but then maybe I'll stop. Oh, well, that's... Oh, that's it. Okay. Obviously need the red key. Don't know why I even bothered to check that. Just making a point, I guess. And we go here. Can I make this jump? Oh, you don't even need to as a step. Alright. Okay, look at all these turreted. Revenants. Oh, and I might... Oh, I have a chain gun with quite a lot of bullets. Well, I'm going to just run past these guys because there's definitely no need to sh use ammo on them. Okay. Teleporters and... Oh, yeah, the... Oh, the super shotgun. I want that. Um, I see you... What is that? An imp? Pinky. Okay. And another pinky. Well, all right. Let's just run grab... What the... Did I manage to comp- That's pretty unlucky, unless there was a full block map, it's pretty unlucky that not a single pellet hit from this angle, right in between two piggies. How many sneaky cacodemons does this map have? Hopefully not too many. The kill count's not draining very quickly. Now do I try and jump to this? Can I run past the revenants? Do I dare use these teleporters yet? I think- no. I think be a bit more cautious, especially... Oh. I, I thought I saw chain gunners behind it. That's why I hesitated. So I didn't say anything. Um, but I don't know... Well, I should keep standing here because the Kakademon will win against that chain gunner. So if I stand a bit closer, it'll get hit again. Come back here, Kakademon. Alright. Come on, chain gunners. Do it again. I've been told that this map's light on for ammo, so this is worth my time. I think. Okay, he's... No! Alright. I saw the chain gonna start to shoot, but the Kakademon got so close by that point. Oh, well, I have lots of bullets, so... Time to fight fire with fire. Get out of here. These guys have just got their back turned. They're not even awake. What do I aim? Alright. What do we have? Through here. Oh, my... An Archfile, a Chain Gunner, and a Revenant. The Plutonia Rune. Um, ammo. Can they get out? No, okay. Auto map is suggesting that they are stuck in there. So maybe I should just leave that. And okay, more Revenants in this. Oh! Damn. Actually, can I just punch these guys through the window? Unberserked? I 
Okay, I can, but it's a little bit dangerous. But I've been told this map's light on for ammo. And I'm treating it pretty seriously for an iWord map that was lucky, I think. Can this map please just give me even a chainsaw? But obviously a berserk, if it's going to be light on for ammo. Oh no! I'm running away back to the medkits at the start that I left. Oh god. Please, Revenants, leave me alone, they did. Alright. No one else out here. Oh, and another medkit, yes. Okay. Get me to here, and then hopefully I can make this jump. I'll SR50 just to be safe. Yes, and then we're going all the way. Did I? Damn it, I did. Alright, we're going all the way back to here. Well, I mean, good thing I had those there in reserve, but seems a little bit early to be grabbing it. Damn, it's already 11 minutes in though. This map is slow. I guess this is the map 29 of TNT, so it kind of makes sense. It's meant to be a bit slow. Alright. Do I stop to try and kill the Archfile and the Revenant in that room? I think, given the incredible disaster this was, I just yeah, do that. When are these guys going to get let out? Because see, I see the white colour of that door. Infight? can at least soften the arch file up, I guess. Hopefully a lot of pellets actually just hit him then and not the revenant. Is this worth it? I mean, I'm kind of doing it, because who knows what'll happen if I get sprung by an arch file with no ammo later on in the map. Ah, uh, well, he pained there, so I'm definitely hitting him when this happens. But is this worth it? I don't know, I'm down to 10 shells now. Oh, and that just went straight over the top. Let's just quickly check the rest of this area and see if there's ammo. What the? You're right there as well. Okay. Well, I, good thing I saved some ammo. So now I'm dealing with close quarters Ancubus. Well, and you. Oh, you're kidding. I hope there is more ammo in this area because... Uh, what is that teleporting I hear? I just... Okay, I don't know, but I hear teleporting. Okay, ammo. Add a teleporter that I'm definitely not taking. Um, ooh, shotgun. Shoot. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this... The look of this marble temple... It's... Like, it feels like I've played this map many times before, because... I swear a lot of modern maps sort of cop this aesthetic. Ooh, I see more ammo. I remember this from the comment. You get given a lot of cells, but nothing to fire them with. So every time you see cells, it's just a giant tease. Okay, but more ammo. And more teleporters that I don't want to take. Where are those lost souls? Yeah, they are still fighting. Oh, great. A room full of crushes. <gasps> Holy... Crap. That's not who I... Oh, my God. I thought I had a pillar to hide behind. Okay, he's struggling to come down the stairs. Banana Man is coming. He's coming down the stairs. Die, damn it! I could have swore I've already hit him quite a few times. Okay. And there was a Hell Knight. Alright, I've got to be a little bit careful of that. You're here. I have 11 rockets, and there were lots of medkits up here. Alright. This is where I thought I was dodging. How did I not? What did I do? Oh, like I went back too far and did that. What? Oh crap. Shotgun. Oh, get out of the way, Pinky. Well, there's a. That's another Hell Knight, isn't it? Alright, let's just pick up med kits. Crush a room. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, okay. It has auto swapped me to the fist. I don't even have a rocket launcher. I saw all these rockets and just assumed I must have a rocket launcher. I don't even have one. Oh, what the? Where were you? Okay. I saw more boxes of shells and stuff there. Okay, good. So let's just collect these, and I guess we just have to make a run for the ammo. Alright. 
and now we can take on you. And I'm not berserk, so like I basically just have to do this. This map is really light on for ammo. And we're only about halfway through the kill count. And I don't want that. I want that. To be able to press that blue switch, I guess. Uh, you're, oh god, he teleported somewhere. Um, okay. I guess we're just going to get sprung by the Cacodemon at the worst moment. There's the blue switch, but I need the blue key, which is like through... Okay, I think I see what's happening in here. Actually, if I can find where the Cacodemon came from, so... Yeah, you teleport to the bottom of the blue key, so you got to like... Oh, this goes to here. Well, where does this send me back there? Okay, so they're not the teleporters I need. Was oh, that the Cacodemon coming back? Oh, I probably have to go through the crushes. Those crushes look intense. Okay, yeah, you did come back. It... Or is that where I need to go? Wait, what's down here? There's a door here. Okay, it'll open at some point. As will this, apparently. Hmm. Okay, well... Oh, I don't really want to do this at all, but... I have to somehow make it through this? Oh my god, this could take forever to figure out the timing here. Are you seriously meant to try and just run through this? Like, right now! Oh. Damn, dude. I have a horrible feeling those would be fast crushes. Oh, that's one of those classic Final Doom teleporters. It puts you at a different Z height. Okay. Got the blue key. Oh, don't tell me I have to go back through the crushes. You are kidding. Oh, my God. All right. Patience. Patient bear, I guess. I do not want to test how much damage these crushes do. Especially if you get stuck in one of them. It could just result in you barely escaping it only to get crushed by the next one. God. These ones like right next to me here are brutal. They barely go up and down at all. I guess that's good. It means you can't really get stuck in them. So, okay. I probably had a chance. I've been missing it by just talking. So they're completely out of sync at the moment. That was actually right there. Possibly a good moment. But this one, yep. Yeah, I remember this one closest to me is not in a good spot. This could take forever. Was that a moment? This could be a moment, I think. Go, go, go. Whoa. That was nerve-wracking. That was bloody nerve-wracking. Minus points to this map for that. 100%. It's annoying to hear. And, yeah, okay, so I'd spoil this with the map. Okay, that's... that's... Ominous in a very cool way. What the... What the... 11 shells, what am I meant to do here? Oh, that's what this is. Like, you can probably see through that wall. You're given all these rockets. I must have missed a rocket launcher somewhere. Well, let's run past that fake wall. Can it see through this wall? Maybe, I don't want to find out. Is there a way to telefrag it somehow? Please tell me there is. Oh, and we're back to... Yeah, and what am I meant to do with you guys? Um... I must have missed a rocket launcher somewhere, because it gives you all those rockets. Oh, do I need to take these? Do I do this? Okay, it just sends me here. That's not so bad. Oh, it sends you all the way- oh, that's actually handy. Okay. Um, I haven't been here, and this floor doesn't damage, so yeah. Okay. Jeez, I would like a rocket launcher for you, for example. Well, I'd probably just rocket the wall next to me. Okay, they're too- wide. I'm actually perfectly safe to stand here. Okay. Of course, there's more lost souls. Jeez, this map. So it's actually not a kill count of 112 at all. It's quite a lot more than that. Wait, is this the other side of the... Getting close to the other side of the Archfile and the Revenant? Do I want to... They're right there. Oh, dude. Please don't tell me the rocket launcher is here somewhere. And I heard a distant door. Oh, it's because... It's here! I'm just running away from that. There's... 
got to be a rocket launcher somewhere near the red key. Well, the red key is what the spider demon was guarding. Why do I get the... Look, it's already 20 minutes. Why do I get the funny feeling this is going to be one of the longest episodes? Um, the start? Did I miss it at the start? Oh yeah, you can just lower the thing. Surely not. Like, not in here. Is there anything in this area? The secret? It can't be a secret. Uh, it's not in any of the corners here. Or up there. Is that just for decoration? Yes. It looks kind of funny on the auto map. Like a big turd or something. And it can't be all the way back at the start, can it? In the caves? Oh, I guess it could be. And that would have made things easier to navigate. Um, where's that little bit of... There's a thing with a white bit, that's where I'm looking, that maybe I missed. This one on the left here. This. Oh, is it a secret? It's not even a secret. An unofficial secret with two men. Good to know, though. Good to know. Uh, should I... No, I see nothing else that... You know, the auto map's not hinting at any other secret or unofficially secret rooms. Maybe I did... But how could I not miss a... Yeah, that's a tiny room with a spider demon in it. There's no way you're expected to just push past it for the red key in an IWOD map. Am I being silly? Is it me? Keep talking as if it's the map. Is it me? What's in this area? Oh. I literally just face palmed. Okay, but I'm glad to have found it. I knew there had to be one. They're not going to give you all that. Oh, wait. So, no, that's. No, no, no. We don't want to be there yet, I don't think. We don't want to go here yet, I don't think. We want to go here. I'm going to put this thing away before I hurt myself. And I guess we're rocketing a spider demon in close quarters, though. Oh, which is like right in front of me. This is actually a really annoying place to rocket a spider demon. Are you serious? If I get my timing wrong, I'm going to rocket myself in the face. So, I just need to be a methodical, I guess. And I need these rockets. Yoink. Is there a way to telefrag it? Possibly. If I explored more and found a secret teleporter somewhere, maybe. And look at the kill count still. And I'd love to be using these rockets on that room with the Archfile and the Revenant. But I think I have to use them here. There are those two medkits at the start. I shouldn't waste my health though just because they're there. That was a long refire check that I got kind of screwed by. Okay, I do still have some rockets left. And it only... okay. You could only shoot through that window. Um, and given that I kind of know where to approach these guys from now, I'm going to try this, although it's a bit sketchy. Yes, it died. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Splash it. I guess I may as well just splash this guy. Cool, I heard them both die. Okay, I mean, I've played this so cautiously up to this point, I may as well run past these guys. Oh, please God, tell me that I'll have enough ammo to finish them off. And I won't have to not UV max this or play this again to get the UV max. Oh, please God, tell me no. Okay, so I mean, so far my thoughts are that I quite like the layout of this map. It looks cool and it has a cool premise, but this is starting to get pretty annoying. The very sort of tedious style of play that it demands due to the ammo starvation and the... I mean, I guess it's because I, I'm playing it semi-blind, right? So I don't know what's going on. If I knew exactly what to expect, I'm sure there's a much easier and faster way to play this. I have the red key now, so I guess we go to... was it here? Yeah. Not much ammo. Really not much ammo. I think this... Oh, I remember this. This is a hell of a fight, isn't it? I mean, look at all those manky by. Yeah, no, no, no. I am going to explore the rest of the map a little bit first. Yeah, down here, there was that revenant that hopefully, now that I killed the uh, archfile and the revenant and the chain gunner, I can explore their room and get all those rockets. Because I think I'm going to need them, like these. How do I get these? 
Oh, you're kidding. A close quarters helmet that I do not have the ammo for. And I have a rocket. Oh, he can come. Brilliant. And by brilliant, I mean absolutely not brilliant whatsoever. Do I just have to tediously lure him all the way out of this corridor? Alright, well, he's coming. Tediously lure him away. So that I can run past him and just pray that I get enough ammo to finish him off on his way, on my way back. That's pretty much what's happening here. And if he follows me, I'm screwed. Okay, well... I know that I've already scoured the rest of the map because I kind of just did, so... Oh, wow. Yeah, and thank God I killed these guys. Okay, I heard that lower. I do get all this. Okay, phew. I mean, that's... Oh, and you can come here too. This is good. Because I definitely want this supercharged. Alright, and that was just the one revenant. Alright. Getting stuck on the torch. Probably do want the rocket launcher out still, or maybe not, because I'll probably be in his face. Okay, let's just run out here. Where are you? Rockets, I think. Okay, that was awful. Not rockets, I think. Um, and that's secret. How would I possibly get it? No. Because I think it's... Well, okay, there's these turreted revenants up here as well. Yes, this. Uh, of course. Of course. No, don't just die. Jeez, this map, man. I mean, this is a fitting way to end TNT in a sense, end it the regular level progression of TNT. Alright, oh, so. Are you kidding? Alright. A long, slow, ammo grind style slog. Oh my god. Holy oh crap. This is brutal. And I used all my rockets. And they come down the stairs. I can't see through this bloody thing. Oh my god. Okay, they are fighting? It was just fighting a lost soul. Alright, I need that Hell Knight and the Revenants to fight, I think. Yeah, you get stuck. I like this a lot. It means I can stand here and not worry about getting suddenly hit by a Revenant missile or a Hell Knight projectile. But I really need you guys to fight. Revenants, Hell Knights, fight. Ah, oh, these Lost Souls are gonna kill each other. Ah, oh, it's just killing a Lost Soul. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This sucks, dude. Okay. No, I thought he was stuck enough that the Hell Knights would fight him. But you have to like come in like this to see past the fake wall to be able to like see if there's any infighting going on. Come on, Hell Knight. This is ridiculous. Why are they not shooting at me? Come on. This is ridiculous. Seriously. Come on, Hell Knight, now. Now's the time. This is unbelievably unlucky. And I'm doing this because... Well, my ammo is bad. Like, I don't need anyone to tell me anymore. This map is super light on for ammo. And look at this, 280 cells. It can't have been designed for pistol start. There's no way this map was designed for pistol start. Am I going to have enough ammo to actually do the job in this map? Do you at least get given a berserk so that maybe I could? And it's taking so long because of all this. Finally. Finally. Alright, and obviously the Hell Knights can't fight each other, so here I go. Oh, that was so silly. I knew that was such a silly idea as well. I'm getting impatient. Oh, yes, okay. Thank you for a little bit of good fortune. Oh, some ammo. Okay. Dare I take this? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, it's just back to here. Thank God. Okay, so that was an unofficial secret. I did all that because I was trying to look for the secret that I assume... Yeah, is this bit? Somehow? No, not even. The other, the third secret that I have not found. Do I just go do the final room? I assume it's the final room that I saw with those monkey by. 
anyway? Yeah, down here? Or do I search harder for this secret? Wait, is that... are they joined? No. Somehow... It sort of curls around to... Over... Here. Ish. Somewhere around... or maybe here. Oh my god. And look at how long this has taken. The kill count's still pretty... pretty high. Is this where we need to go? No. Here. Let's just have a look in the final room. Like, properly. You imps. I need to bugger off. Oh, there's an arch file up there, and a baron. And I have... 48 shells, basically. And there's quite a few monkey by. Okay. And an arachnotron. Things you love to hear. And an archfall who's sniping me. Where is that arachnotron? Getting it to a fort these mancubi would have been cool. And do I get extra ammo out here? Okay, there's the arachnotron. Are you the only arachnotron? Yeah, that Mancubus is pissed off at me. Oh. I really don't want to be dying. Is the Mancubus all the way over there still, like, stuck? Okay, I see the Archfile angry at an imp. I wonder what this button does. Dare I press that? Oh god. I would die to a zap right now. I need to be a lot more careful than I'm being, I think. Although I'm being pretty damn careful. Okay. The floor is clear. Was there medkits somewhere that I left? I feel like there was in that secret. I know, I know. I'm being super cautious. It was here, wasn't it? Like down in this general area. Uh, no, yeah, it was where I got the rockets. Oh, I already grabbed them. Are you kidding? There aren't, there's nothing, so I have to just try not getting zapped by that arch file. And there'll be this, there's this third secret which will probably help out immensely. But I'm trying not to cheat to find secrets until after the map is essentially done. What does this do? Nothing. The mancubus here is stuck? Yeah, okay. I could, I probably slowly but surely get the arch file killed to the Baron. And all the imps. Well, he'll just revive it until it's time. And I'm assuming this teleporter that this Mancubus is quite clearly stuck on will take me up there to get... Is this the yellow key? Oh no, it needs the red key. Oh, and then the... Okay. But dare I open this to go there now without... I ain't taking that. Somehow... Oh, there's a teleporter there. Somehow that this archfile and the Baron need to die. The Baron I can possibly kill with a single barrel shotgun, but the Art File... Well, both of them, that's the thing. I could kill one of them with a the single barrel shotgun, but both of them? Hmm. Just don't have the ammo. This map really is light on for ammo. As you can see, I've decided to just simply kill the Art File, because then I can kill the Imps, hopefully. And the Baron, maybe I can take the chance of teleporting up there and just seeing what the go is. Although if it clawed me for a max damage roll, I'd be in big trouble. But I've got to be very careful to make sure I'm near cover. Okay. And very careful to make sure that I notice the Archfile trying to zap me. This has turned into the longest run. Even Central Processing and Administration Center didn't take me this long. The videos are that long, and Dead Zone is that long because of a secret hunt, but none of them actually took me that long to like play the map proper like this. And why is no one trying to shoot at me? Like, could those imps and the Baron please like accidentally hit the arch file somehow? Way more often than this? Oh man, this map is tedious. This map is the definition of tedious on a pistol start. 
it would honestly be worth going on the secret hunt for the third secret and continuing with this. Look at my ammo. Oh, god damn it. I could just, over a long period of time, stand here and eventually let infighting take care of the archfile at the very least. But I think my options now are either go and go on a massive secret hunt. Yeah, and that's it. I'm out of six bullets. It's not worth this. My, I can't go back. Are you kidding? If I take that teleporter and die, I'm going to be so upset. What is this? Oh my god. I nearly shat myself there. I thought I was just going to get zapped and that would be that. <gasps> Yes, I saw that they were white on the auto map. Oh my god. Small mercies. Cells, are you kidding? This was not designed for pistol start. This was absolutely not designed for pistol start. Bullets. <laughs> Where them rockets at? Y'all got any more of those rockets? How is this not? Oh, okay, well... I'm grabbing that, 100%. No use trying to stockpile that. Get me over here. Thank God for the auto map. Pointing out these unofficial secrets. Alright, these rockets have to count. Where are you, Archfile? Yes! And the Archfile can't revive that imp now. Archfile... Okay, no, he's still back there. 300 cells just sitting there. Could he please have hidden a plasma rifle or a BFG somewhere? And I got this? Yeah. Oh my god, the Archfile's in a pretty good spot. No, I wasted a rocket. What an idiot. What an idiot. Uh, why, why am I so dumb sometimes? Should have been patient. This is such an awkward place to try and kill these guys. I have shot the Archfile quite a few times. And it did cop at least a decent amount of splash damage from that first rocket. Like, I'm sure he did. Where is the damn thing? Okay, come on, Baron. Smack him out of there, just like with the other guy. Or can you guys hit the art file? I'm just trying to make sure I get a good shot on it. Oh... See, unlike that, I just talked myself, I bullied myself into doing the wrong thing. Yes! Okay. Let's just try... Oh, you die, Imp. I guess just, like, focus on the Imps. Because I have 200-200, so now if I teleport up to where the Baron is, yeah, he might hurt, but... I just telefragged the Mancubus, okay, that's fine. There's still 13 kills in this map. Just, just quietly. Yeah, I thought so, but alright, whatever. I thought that was going to be the case, and that's why I had to wait. Oh, you are joking. More cells. This is a cruel joke. Let me out of here. You are kidding. I have to... Don't come through that. Whatever you monsters do. Another arch file. That's the last thing that I wanted to have come through. And I can't go back, that's right. Because, oh, he's going to revive everything. Unless this is... Okay, that lets me out. Closed door, closed door, closed door. Just in time. I have to go find that secret. And it needs to be full of ammo. Or I'm screwed. What the hell is this map? After everything else that's happened in TNT, being relatively gentle and easy, this map is intense. I'm honestly on the verge of cheating to get this because I've really like 40 minutes on a blind playthrough. If any of you are still watching, holy crap, you guys are OGs. Oh, I don't know why you'd be OGs. You may not be. You know, you're welcome if you're new as well, of course. You guys are awesome if you're still watching this. I'm gonna, in the interest of, I'd cheat for the secrets in other reasons. I'm cheating now for this. What? 
So you have to teleport there, obviously, somehow. And I need to find the teleporter. Can I see a teleporter that I haven't taken? Uh, um, maybe. Were these just monster closets? Maybe. How the hell are you meant to do this? You don't even ha I don't even have a berserk! Don't even have a berserk. That secret requires a teleporter, obviously, somewhere. This is- okay, no, well, I could be trying to, like, do the door trick and get them all to infight, which I'll have to resort to, obviously. But let's just see... No, this isn't what I'm thinking of, although it could be down here, but I don't think so. Wait on. Oh, no, that's the Revenant's thing. There were a couple of teleporters here, is this what I'm thinking of? And I only tried one of them, I think. I didn't try this one. But they both just send you to the same spot. Great. Fantastic. And this teleporter... Nope. Um, so both of these send you to the same spot. Oh, the, I am not doing that crusher room again. Those just sent you to each other. These just sent you to each other. Oh, sorry, no. These sent you to each other. This sends you to that. What is this all about? Have I seen that? No, I haven't. Oh, no, that is the exit where I just was, right? That's the exit. And somehow, there's a monster there too. In that secret. This area here, Lord knows. How you meant to do that with the ammo you've got. You can't be ex And wait on. Given that's yellow, that's an item. So it means there's no other gun. You're not going to get a plasma rifle at any point. <laughs> a ma a oh, you're a ghost, Mancubus. You are absolutely kidding me. <laughs> if As if things couldn't get any worse. And that was the Mancubus. I saw it revive at the door, too. A ghost Mancubus that I literally cannot kill without rockets. Where are you supposed to get ammo from in this godforsaken map? I'm just going to have to come back to this map, I think. I'm going to have to practice it and do a practiced run. Even if I could grab these chain guns, I don't see... Oh, here he comes. I guess we can run around him. Lucky I had the auto map on. Yeah, there he is. See ya. I was wondering what that tiny little thing is. Ghost Mancubus. And so if I try and do the door trick, I'm just going to be getting... ...harassed by a Ghost Mancubus in the back. Anyway. I need the arch file up front. He's almost up front. I'm just totally cheating at this point. Fortunately, for some reason, the Ghost Mancubus is struggling to get here. That's really lucky. I have to be careful that the um, Archfall doesn't resurrect any other ghosts. Okay, getting the Archfile killed like this technically works. But I have no way of killing these two Mancubi though, let alone the Baron. Oh, the Mancubus is fighting the Baron, but the Archfile is fighting it. That is interesting. Oh crap. Because I let the door... Okay, it's alright. 
And the Ghost Mancubus, yeah, he's just chilling in that room for some reason. He doesn't, even though he could get out, he doesn't want to. That's really lucky. And I mean, I need the Archfile in front, and then... Almost, almost. I need the Archfile in front. Oh, that better not have become a ghost. Okay, no. It's not a pool of blood, thank god. Yes, the Archfile is in front. If the Mancubus could just... Start shooting when I open the door, please. Mancubus, now's your time. Yes. And again, Mancubus. Oh, that imp is a pool of blood. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it killed itself. Alright. Mancubus, walk away from the door. Yep, that's good. Oh, you guys are stuck there. Oh my god, I telefragged the Baron. That is so lucky. Mancubus. Hit the pinkies. Yes, the other one, please. I could maybe punch the remaining enemies in the exit. It's Mancubus. It's only resurrected, so technically it doesn't have to die. Uh, where was the yellow key one? Yeah. Oh god, there's a Hell Knight. I can't deal with that. Two of them, in fact. Okay, the Pain Elemental just died. There's still seven more kills. Not including this Mancubus or the Ghost Mancubus. Because they're revived. Lucky was it that I teleferred. So there's one there. There's the two Hell Knights. Oh, and there's four more enemies at the exit itself. But is that everybody? Two Hell Knights. Takes us to 107. Um... The guy there is 108. Yeah, and then 112. That is correct. What are the four enemies at the end? I guess I kind of have no choice but to... I mean, if those Hell Knights could... get here... Alright. I lost Soul, dude. I need the Mancubus to kill it now. Come on, lost Soul. Perfect. Where are those Hell Knights? How do I drag them? I need to go, like, up. Oh, that's clever map design. Putting that up so that it's hard to get them to teleport here. And is it possible for me to stand higher than that? It is if I go all the way back to the start. Alright, you need to come around here. This is going to be... If I actually persist with this and manage to get it with no ammo, I don't even know how to get that damn secret. And there's a ghost Mancubus walking around. Which if I go to the start, it'll probably unleash the damn thing. But oh well. I definitely grabbed everything in here, right? So I have no idea how to get the third secret. There's a bunch of enemies that I have to telefrag. But, okay, yep. One Hell Knight, two Hell Knights. Alright. The Mancubus will die to them, because it's pretty weak, I think. The Ghost Mancubus may show itself at any moment. Um, and where do I actually need to go? Here? No. Okay, the Ghost Mancubus is still stuck, thank goodness. By some miracle, it just got itself stuck in that room and doesn't want to come out. The Hell Knights are... <gasps> Can I sell a frag them? Damn it, it went back. Where's the Mancubus? Alright. Maybe this is the way. Can the Mancubus. I need the Mancubus to hit it first because the Mancubus is kind of weak. So I need to dance with the Hell Knight a bit. Now's your chance. Yep, this is good. Damn it, no. Thank God I found that Megasphere. Is there anything else around here? No. Ah, oh, good. They're 
I'm complete wrong in the wrong spot. I'm over here. Yes, I think he got hit. Come on, make him just one more hit before he attacks you. If the Mankey Bus somehow managed to beat both Hell Knights. He's beaten one. Go on, Lost Souls. Get in trouble. Alright, I guess we go all the way back. We drag the Mankey Bus over here. Come on, Mankey Bus. Hit the Lost Soul. Or Lost Soul, hit the Mankey Bus. Actually. That's a bit dangerous because what if he kills it? Come on, Lost Soul. Oof. Okay, good. Right, and now we're on the correct side of the room. So, we go back to the very, very start. Hoping that the Ghost Mancubus does not follow. We drag that other Hell Knight into that area. I think we probably already are doing. There he goes. There he almost goes. Come on, you can do it. Don't just get caught there. Perfect. He is stuck in the teleporter, which means I can possibly telefrag it myself. No, I don't think so. And that ain't the way. And I still have no idea how to get this secret. I got so lucky that that ghost Mancubus just got stuck, I think. Because getting followed by a ghost Mancubus would suck. Don't come in here. No. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. Drag the Mancubus back in. Back you come. Okay, good. Not so bad. Now we come and stand. Okay, yeah, cool. Mancubus has to hit you first. The Mancubus will probably die to this Hell Knight. And whatever those four enemies are at the very, very exit, we just have to pray that they're unberserk punchable. Which they may not be. Oh yes! Come on, Mancubus. Shoot! Don't die, damn it! Alright, off we go. The Hell Knight shouldn't follow me here. All these cells, man. They're just shotguns. <gasps> and it gives me ammo to kill the Hell Knight! What is this? Nothing. Oh, is that the exit? Like, if I press that, it probably opens the exit. Okay. Oh, I see the ghost Mancubus actually making it to me now. Do I? Yes, it is. Oh my god, alright. But, I have enough shells to kill you. And now, if I can just figure out how to get the secret and kill whatever it is in there, that's it. I will have actually UV maxed this map unbelievably after an hour. A full hour. With the IDD cheat. Alright, I guess we use all these teleporters. Just in case. That takes me to the exit. This just takes me up the top. So lucky I telefragged that Baron. That's just sheer luck. How do you get that secret though? And it's so lucky that the Ghost Mancubus, even though it exists, is getting stuck. That is just sheer luck. For some reason it can't go through this corner even though it's a ghost. Is there something that I'm missing here that should allow you into that secret? It looks so narrow there as well. I, s I s assume you're supposed to teleport to it. But I don't see any other places to teleport from. I mean I've come this far, do I just like look it up on DoomWiki? It's not, I mean, it's because I IDDT'd, it's not like a real UV Max, however slow and tedious. Um, just 
go and have an examination of it, I guess. It's so it's here. And it seems like it's too skinny to possibly it's like just wide enough. But getting it to lower, Lord knows. Unless am I being like really silly? Like is it lowering on a line def out here somewhere? Thank god that ghost monkey bus is stuck. Right. Run back just in case it is lowering on a line def. No? This torch is blue, this torch is blue. There's all these blue, 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 blue. Green. Oh my god. I am an idiot. What are you, a chain gunner? That's a supercharge. All the kills, all the secrets, and it took nearly an hour. And it took Telefragging, I had to deal with ghost enemies. I had to painstakingly use the door trick to kill people. Unbelievable. And all these cells here just teasing me. Yeah, here it is. The exit. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, I need a cup of tea and a lie down. Why didn't I just become a Pokemon YouTuber? What the hell was this map? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. This map was not made for pistol starts and it is extremely unfriendly to one. Even if you knew what was coming, the amount of ammo on this map is pretty tight. The aesthetics are cool, the progression is cool, the... I do, you know... Respect the visuals, they are inspirational for a reason, the marble temple thing is cool, that crusher is stupid. The, not only the fact that it drips the ammo out to you, but the type of ammo it gives you when it like, I hid the rocket launcher in that weird spot. And then there's just like arch files everywhere and weird cacodemons. I know the ghost enemy is not its fault, but that area out there, with the unofficial secrets as well. Nah, I'm giving it thumbs up and thumbs down based on whether I've had fun or not. I have not had fun. I have had stress. This map is a thumbs down. With a bit of time and on a replay, that rating would probably change. But for now, River Styx can go to hell. Oh my god. What a map for the penultimate week of TNT Tuesdays. And well, I did it, so I'm uploading this version, I guess, an hour. This is going to be the longest episode of TNT Tuesdays, the second last one. Uh, anyone who made it through this entire thing, Thank you. You are a hero. I really hope that this video got you through your sit on the toilet or put you to sleep or whatever you were using it for because that's all I can imagine. Oh my god, i got to stop now. Uh, should I ramble to make it an hour flat? It probably already is. That's it for this week of TNT Tuesdays. I'll see you next week in the very last one. Last call. That was River Shits. <laughs>